The arrest of Solis for these store robberies may just be part of a criminal activity that seems to increase during the summer. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada spoke with Mission Police about this trend among teens this time of year. David Michael Solis, stand up please. 20-year-old David Michael Solis went before a judge at the Mission Municipal Court after allegedly committing a string of aggravated robberies at two Stripes convenience stores in Mission. I do have two counts of aggravated robbery. Those are both first-degree felonies. In the past few weeks, a number of aggravated robberies have been committed around the valley, including Harlingen, Westlaco, and Brownsville. In the Brownsville incident, a man walked in pointing what appeared to be a gun but ended up being a paintball gun, while another grabbed some beer before the two ran off. Lieutenant Jody Tittle with Mission Police Department says aggravated robberies committed by young adults and teens is usually out of boredom and on occasion rise during the summertime when school is out. Well, generally your crimes with teenagers are petty crimes. Your graffiti, maybe breaking in a car window, criminal mischief. You know, in, in the mission area, we don't see a high increase. But you see somewhat of an increase sometimes, you know, they're bored, have nothing better to do. And as an outlet, they, you know, become a little mischievous and break a window or lay some spray paint down. But as far as violent crimes go with teenagers, you know, that's not something that we see too much of. In today's arraignment, Solis is accused of holding the store up at knife point on Sunday and again on Wednesday. The weapon was also confiscated. You know, I don't know what's going on in the young man's life, what caused this. You know, we didn't get that far into the interview. Could have been just lack of money, could have been anger, could have been a drug problem. It's usually what fuels these uh, type of crimes. And the summer has just begun. In Mission, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.